How's it going everybody? Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to set up your own Tau World dedicated server. So in order to get started, what we're going to want to do is open up our browser and we're going to navigate to we're going to just Google search DeamCMD, click this button, click on Windows, and then click the number one icon right there on the end, and that will download DeamCMD. I'm going to open this up, I'm going to right click, extract the files, Promise this. I'm going to take this, I'm going to do Control X to cut it, go to my C drive, and then in here I'm going to create a new folder, we'll call it server, and then within this folder, I'm going to paste the Steam CMD with Control V, and then I'm going to create another new folder, and I will call it Power World. And then I will open up Steam CMD, and let's go ahead and initialize uh, Steam CMD. Then while that's doing its thing, I'm going to navigate back to Power World. Click up here, and this will highlight the row, and then you just Control C to copy that. And then, as you see here, Steam CMD is initialized. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do force underscore install underscore dir. Then, we're going to paste that in and then add a trailing backslash after a power world and hit enter. We're going to do login anonymous, hit enter. And then, we're going to do app update. Two three nine four zero one zero, and then do validate. And then hit enter, and this will download the server files for us. All right. Once that is done, we can go ahead and type an exit, and I'll close it out. And as you can see here, we have all of our server files. This is our settings file, so we could open this. And you'll find a bunch of settings in here. Right now, we're not going to mess with any of the server settings. I just want to show you guys how to set it up. You guys can come in here and adjust your, your server rates and all that kind of fun stuff. But for now, we're going to leave that alone. What I am going to do is I'm going to right click and create a new text document. And we'll just call this startup. And I'm going to go to view. File name extensions, and this will now you can see the .txt. I'm going to rename this to BAT. I'm going to hit yes on this. I'm going to right click on it and hit edit. And then from here, I'm going to copy and paste in my startup script. I will have this down in the description below, so you can also copy and paste one for yourself. And then once we have the script in here, we're just going to control S to save it, close it. And then the port we need to open up in our firewall. So let's go ahead and type in firewall into our start menu. And we're going to click on advanced security. We're going to go to inbound rules, new rule. And do port next. TCP, and it's going to be 8211. I'm just going to copy this. Click next, allow connections. Next, and I leave everything default. And I'll just call this uh, Power World TCP. Call it whatever you want. And click finish. And then I'm going to add the new rule again. Click port again. This time I'm going to select UDP. Type in the same port, 8211. Go to next, next, finish. Then we're going to call this Power World UDP. And then click on finish. And after that, we can close this. And then you can run the .bat file. Now, I know the same much to look at. If this pops up, just hit allow access. First, what we're going to need to do is check the IP of our server here. So if I just type in IP config, this is my local IP. This is how I will be connected to the server. 
If you want your server to become public and use your public facing IP address, you will need to port forward in your router for the 8211 port. And that will make it public and then you use your public facing IP address. However, if you don't want people, if you only want people locally within your network to access it, this is the IP address they would use. Because this is the IP address of the server. So let's go ahead and open up Power World. All right, once Power World is open, we're going to hit close. Then we're going to join multiplayer game. Click the game net. And then from here, you see the direct connection method right here. For us, since we're hosting this locally at the moment, we will do our server IP address. And then click connect. If you port forward it through your router, you use your public facing IP address, which is different for everybody. So just look up what your IP address by going to like Google searching what is my IP and Google search will tell you or give you a link that will tell you what your public facing IP address is. And just like that, we are in the server and we can go ahead and create us a character. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.